everyone, I'm Mary Angela, the director of the Center on the Hill, and it is time for the answers to I Should Have Known That. We played six rounds. I hope you had some fun. I have definitely had a lot of fun and I've learned something new, which is great. I always love that. And now it's time for all the answers. So if you haven't played all six rounds, please stop what you're doing right now and go back and watch all of them. Write down your answers and then watch this video where I'll give you all the answers. Are you ready? So round one. Hopefully I have these in the same order in which you answered them. <laughs> Not 100% sure, but I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, I think I think I do have them in the right order. Here we go. Which element has the chemical symbol F? E. Which element has the chemical symbol Fe? If you said iron, you are correct. Question two, where do you find penguins, the North or the South Pole? Do you find them on the South Pole? There are no penguins in the North Pole. <laughs> Question three, how many Olympic rings are there? This one I didn't actually know. There are five, five Olympic rings, which now that I think about it, makes sense when you like see the image of the logo in your head, but I didn't know it at the time. So that's a good one. And then what French phrase indicates ready to wear clothing that is intended to be worn off the rack without significant alteration? Well, that would be pret a porter, pret a porter. I had no idea. That was the first time I ever heard that word in my life. Then we've got question five. The legendary escape artist Houdini's real name was Eric Weiss, but when he became famous using what other first name? Harry, everybody knows it was Harry Houdini. <laughs> question six. What was the name of the group that included Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr.? If you said the Rat Pack, you were absolutely right. Question seven, who was America's second president? Well, it was John Adams. Definitely John Adams, you should have known that. <laughs> Question eight, whose life is, in the is the film Walk the Line About? Well, that was Johnny Cash, one of my favorite movies with Reese Witherspoon. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It was really good. Those are the eight questions for round one. Now on to round two. Let's see if I put these in the right order. <laughs> I hope these in the right order. Let's try. Question one, name two of the four US presidents who have been assassinated while in office. That would be Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, William McKin McKinley, and John F. Kennedy. You should have known that. <laughs> At least history class taught me that. Question two, what was Excalibur in the legend of King Arthur? It was a sword. It was definitely his sword, Excalibur. What are Windsor and four in hand examples of? If you said ties, not tie, knots for ties <laughs> or tie knots, you are correct. Question five, what do you call a word or phrase that reproduces the letters of another word or phrase, but in a different order? Well, hint, it's my favorite game ever, and it's an anagram. I love anagrams. If you've never played the game anagrams, you should play the game anagrams. It's really fun. Question five. What industry seen in the Mad Men TV series is traditionally associated with New York City's Madison Avenue? If you said advertising, you are correct. What color is the number zero on a roulette table? I had no idea of this. I was completely drawing a blank, but apparently it's green. Who knew? I guess I should have known that. What is the capital of Finland? Well, the capital of Finland is Helsinki. And I thought I was right about that. It turned out I was, but it was a total guess. <laughs> and then the last question, question eight of round two, was what actor best known for his role as Superman died in 2004 after living for nine years with a spinal cord injury? If you said Christopher Reeve, you were correct. That was the eight questions in round two. Now we have round three. Question one of round three was, what is a full house in poker? Well, it's three of a kind and together with a pair. So if you have three of a kind together with a pair of another kind, then you have a full house. What is the name of Don Quixote's squire in Cervantes' classic novel? His name was Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza, and the bonus question there was true or false? I am related to Cervantes, and it is actually true. I am related. He was Cervantes de Saavedra. My last name, Mary Angela Saavedra. Question three. What artifact from Greek mythology contained all the evils of the world and hope? If you said Pandora's box, you're absolutely correct. Question four. What two kinds of nuts are used in a Waldorf salad? 
I think at the time I said delicious nuts. These are delicious nuts. It's peanuts and walnuts. Peanuts and walnuts are in a Waldorf salad. Question five, philately, and I still might be saying that wrong because nobody has told me to say it otherwise, <laughs> refers to the study of what subject? Well, it actually refers to the study of stamps. I didn't even know you could study stamps, but apparently you can, and if you do, it's called philately. Who knew? What are the names of the god Odin's ravens in Nordic mythology? I had no idea, and I have no idea why they think we should know this, but apparently they're called Hugin, which is H-U-G-I-N-N, -N, and Munin, M-U-N-I-N-N. Hmm, who knew? Question seven. What district of London was used to establish the official prime meridian when the world was divided into time zones in 1884? If you said Greenwich, which is why I think it's pronounced Greenwich, but it's spelled Greenwich. <laughs> Greenwich. That's why we call it Greenwich Mean Time, because it's Greenwich. <laughs> what are the flower bomb what are flower bomb obsession and daisies example of? If you said perfume, you were correct. Those were the eight questions for round three of I Should Have Done That. Round four. Started getting a little harder in here. Let's see. We asked, what was Hillary Clinton's profession before entering politics? She was a lawyer. We should have known that. <laughs> Question two. How do you write 14 using Roman numerals? If you put XIV, then that is correct. That is 14 in Roman numerals. Question three. What is the name of Australia's largest airline? I had no idea, but a lot of you actually did, which is great. It's Qantas. Qantas Airways is the largest uh, airline in Australia. Question four. Do a pu person's pupils get larger or smaller in bright light? I had to think about this one, and then I realized that it's smaller because your pupils get smaller to block out all the bright light. Question five. What city is LaGuardia Airport located? I think at the time I said everyone should know this, and you should too. It is New York. New York City has LaGuardia Airport. Question, what are we at? Six. What is the world's largest reta retailer? I still have some question about this because this might be about when the game was written um, versus what it actually is now, but it says Walmart. And while I think Walmart is pretty big, I'm not 100% sure that it's the largest retailer, but maybe it is. So we're gonna say it was Walmart, that's what the game says. You should have known that. <laughs> question seven. What city is the gangster Bugsy Siegel strongly associated with? I had no idea about this. I had no idea I was supposed to know this, but it's Las Vegas. He's associated with Las Vegas. And question eight was, Russia is the largest country in the world in terms of area. What country is the second largest? And I am disappointed that I didn't know this because I should have known this. It's Canada. <laughs> when you think about it on a map, Canada. Yes, Canada, Russia, yes, got it, Canada. Should have known that. All right, that was question. That was round four. Oh, I should have known that. Then we had round five just last week. We started with, in what Italian city is Romeo and Juliet set? I definitely should have known this because I'm in the theater, and you should too. It's Verona, in fair Verona, where we lay our tail. That's like the first line of the play. Well, not really, but it's in the prologue. <laughs> you get the idea. Question two. If a response is said to be laconic, what does that mean? It actually means that it's very short and to the point. I did not know that, but now I do. Laconic. Question three, what fraction of a second is a millisecond? It's one one thousandth. One one thousandth of a second is a millisecond. Question four, the word atom comes from the Greek atomus, which means what? I did not know this. It means indivisible. I guess you can't divide up an atom more than an atom. It's indivisible, atomus. Hmm. Question five. What brand is behind the iconic perfume number five? If you said Chanel number five, you are correct. It's Chanel. When you address a letter with C slash O, what do the C and the O stand for? They stand for care of. And I did know this, but honestly, I didn't know it until I was like in high school. I had seen it all over the place, but no one ever told me until I asked my grandmother, of all people, why she wrote C slash O. And she said, because we're sending it in care of this other person. Oh, okay. Good to know. 
Question seven, what is the round button on an iPhone call? And as I mentioned, most iPhones today don't have this button anymore. It is actually the home button. And anything iPhone 10 and higher has done away with the home button, but phones used to have a home button, iPhones anyway. Question eight, what condition is Dustin Hoffman's character Raymond Babbitt affected by in the 1988 film Rain Man? If you said autism, I'd also accept savant, which a lot of you said, um, those are both correct. So uh, he was autistic. That was round five. And then finally, round six, which was on Thursday. We asked, what happens to Bruce Banner when he becomes angry? <laughs> he becomes the Hulk. I would also accept that he turns green and becomes very large because that was also an answer I got. So either is correct, he becomes the Hulk. Question two, what is the difference between a biography and a memoir? A biography is written by someone else about someone, and a memoir is written by that person about themselves. And usually, um, one could also say like that's the difference between an autobiography and a biography, but I love it that a memoir is written by the person. Question three, what is the difference between a bull and an ox? I did not know this, but an ox is a castrated bull. Now I know. <laughs> Question four, what museum is the most visited in the world and has the Mona Lisa on display? I totally guessed and I got it right. It's the Louvre in France, which there is a virtual uh, tour of. I had suspected that this was the case. I think when I filmed it, I said there was a tour of it, but we have a virtual tour on our online programming's page of the Louvre if you wanna take a look. Question five, how long does it take for the moon to rotate around the earth? 28 days, roughly a month. You could say that too, 29.5 days. So any of those answers are correct. I'll take a month, I'll take 28 days, 29 days. Anybody said 28 to 30, you got it. Question, uh, where are we at? That's four, five, six, question six. Did the Southern states or the Northern states oppose the slave trade? Everyone should know this. There's no excuse for not knowing this. It was definitely the Northern states that opposed it <laughs> during the Civil War. And question seven, the idea of zombies can be traced back to what religion? If you said voodoo, you are correct. It was voodoo religion that uh, had the idea of zombies and that's where it first came from. And then finally, question eight was, what color is the letter E in the Google logo? And I totally had to look after I recorded this video um, where I asked these questions because I had no idea, but it's red. <laughs> the E in Google is red, now you know. Those were the first six rounds of I should have known that. Thanks so much for playing. I hope you did really well. Every correct answer that you sent me got you entered to win small prizes when the center reopens. We'll be starting new rounds of trivia games uh, starting this coming Thursday. So um, please tune in and play along. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.